Thank you for coming to see me. Our queen doesn't keep prisoners for long. It just occurred to me, I'm talking to the only man alive who knows where I'm going. So is there life after death? strangled my lover. I shot my own father with a crossbow. I betrayed my queen. It isn't. I did. And I'd do it again now that I've seen what I've seen. I chose my fate. The people of King's Landing did not. I can't justify what happened. I won't try. But the war is over now. Is it? When you heard her talking to her soldiers, did she sound like someone who's done fighting? She liberated the people of Slaver's Bay. She liberated the people of King's Landing. And she'll go on liberating until the people of the world are free. And she rules them all. You've been by us. And you've been by her side, counseling her. Until today. Until today. Paris was right. I was wrong. It was vanity to think I could guide her. Our queen's nature is fire and blood. You think I... You think our house words are stamped on our bodies when we're born, and that's who we are? Ah, then I'd be fire and blood too. She's not her father, no more than your Tywin Lannister. My father was an evil man. My sister was an evil woman. Pile up all the bodies of all the people they ever killed. There still won't be half as many as our beautiful queen slaughtered in a single day. Since you left her, Lord. in a single day. Since you left her no choice. The moment the gates... Choice. The moment the gates fell, the battle was over. She saw her friend beheaded. She saw her dragon shot out of the and sky. And she burned down a city for it. Ah, it's easy to judge when you're standing far from the battlefield. Would you have done it? You've been up there, on a dragon's back. You've had that power. Would you have burned the city down? I don't know. <sighs> yes, you do. You won't say, because you don't want to betray her. But you know. Does it matter what I do?
It matters more than anything. When she murdered the slavers of Astapor, I'm sure no one but the slavers complained. After all, they were evil men. When she crucified hundreds of Miranese nobles, who could argue they were evil men? The Dothraki cows she burned alive, they would have done worse to her. Everywhere she goes, evil men die, and we cheer her for it. And she grows more powerful and more sure that she is good and right. She believes her destiny is to build a better world for everyone. If you believed that, if you truly believed it, wouldn't you kill whoever stood between you and paradise? I know you love her. I love her too. Not as successfully as you, but I believed in her with all my heart. Love is more powerful than reason. We all know that. Look at my brother. Love is the death of duty. You just came up with that. Master Eamon said it a long time ago. Sometimes duty is the death of love. You are the shield that guards the realms of men. You've always tried to do the right thing, no matter the cost. You've tried to protect people. Who is the greatest threat to the people now? People now. terrible thing I'm asking. It's also the right thing. Do you think I'm the last man she'll execute? Who is more dangerous than the rightful heir to the Iron Throne? That's her decision. She is the queen. Ah, 
I'm sorry I came to this. And your sisters. Do you see them bending the knee? My sisters will be loyal to the throne. Why do you think Sansa told me the truth about you? Because she doesn't want Danny to be queen. She doesn't get to choose. No, but you do. And you have to choose now.